Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Today we are going to do a major arms, abs, and deep low abdominals workout, Pilates off the wall. So we're going to be using just a small bit of wall space. I definitely recommend also having a mat, towel, pillow to pad your knees up. Most of the class we're going to be in a modified plank with the shins against the wall. I'll teach you how to do it. And um, I just want to make sure your knees are comfortable. So we're going to warm the hands and wrists up right here. I just want you to start with some wrist circles. This is going to be a quick class. Major focus just on those arms, abs, and core muscles. Now let's reverse the circles, but I want to make sure that the shoulders and wrists are ready to go. We're going to rock the midsection. <laughs> okay, now you're going to open your palm and then tighten your fist. Open, tighten your fist, and you're going to do this really quick. It's kind of shocking. If you do this for a full minute, you're going to feel like a burning sensation all up your arms. So maybe we'll do just that. <laughs> and that will get us nice and warmed up. Good, now make sure you're going as wide as the palm you can and then as tight as possible. Good, nice and quick. Out, in, out, in. Okay, that's about halfway. I usually do this before like handstands or planking, especially in like yoga class. You know you're doing tons of stuff on your hands and it, this is gonna be that style of class right here. Okay, we got 20 seconds, then we've got one last warm up move and we're in to the intensity of the arms and abs. Okay, let's hit it. Are you feeling those forearms? We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo -hoo all up here. Okay, so make this tight clench of the knuckles, press your knuckles into each other and keep them pressed into each other. You're gonna press the arms out and in. So it's kind of like a push-up action in the elbow. Yeah, it's gonna warm the shoulders up a little bit and it's gonna stretch out what we just contracted a lot. So let's do three more, then we're gonna hit that plank. Two and one. Okay, so what you need is a rolled up mat or towel and it's going to be slightly up the wall or you can also use a pillow. I'm really stuck to the floor here. Okay, so that's just going to pad my knees. Your knees are going against the wall with your toes pointing up the wall and I want you to have your knees hips distance. So this is our down stretch in Pilates if you were on the reformer um, and it's also what would look like a, a modified plank if you're not a learner reformer. So what we're using the wall for is to really take out any momentum or any shift of the hips. It's going to challenge our pelvic stability a lot. So let's look at this basic position, this plank. Talk about the form and then we're going to get fancy. Okay, so what I want to see, widespread through the fingers, hands directly underneath the shoulders, and you're leaning your hips into it, but you're not letting it sag. That's gonna pinch your low back, and your butt is not up here. That's not gonna work your core a ton, okay? So shoulders over the wrists, reach your heart forward, and send your tailbone back to your knees. So that's the really important action to get those low abs to fire. The tailbone is going back, and the front of the hips are curling up. That's gonna hit those lower abdominals like crazy. Knees are hips distance, not closer, and I'm gently pushing my feet into the wall. Create some pressure there. That's gonna help us get those low abs. So that's the form. Ready to move? We're gonna go into a plank walkout. So you're gonna be walking your right hand as far forward as you can, left hand as far forward as you can. Hold it for a moment and then walk the hands back in and then you're gonna start with the opposite arm. So we're gonna go left, right, hold that extended plank, walk it in. So each time alternating, and this is Pilates based, so I want you to think a lot of moving without creating any movement in the rest of the body. So I don't want your feet to be sliding against the wall. I want you to have that constant pressure of your feet pressing back into the wall. That's gonna help keep those hips still. But take your time with it. Remember, it's not a rush. Moving quicker for stuff like this is not gonna get you stronger. So that's more like cardio-based movement. Moving slower is gonna help you stay in the muscle. And that's gonna get you stronger. Okay, let's take one more. You're gonna hold that extended plank for me. Okay, when your arms are out here, make sure your shoulders aren't up. So move your shoulders down and make sure you haven't rounded your chest. Pull that heart forward. 
Scoop that tailbone. And I want you to take your elbows and rotate them back towards your knees. So your biceps point forward, your triceps point back, find the low belly, lace the ribs. So if it's not hard enough, the hands can go further out as long as the form stays nice. Yeah, if you lose the hips or the shoulders lift, bring the hands back in, even if you're just holding the plank we started with. Remember, you can grow with workouts. Right? If you can't do the most challenging part yet, that's fine. Come back to it, you'll get a little stronger each time. So I want you to really just close your eyes and lift your lower belly up. That's how you get your abs to work. You have to connect to them. Yeah, holding the plank is great, but you have to also pull them in and contract them. Okay, walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Reset, slide the shoulders down. We're going for an overhead arm reach. When you reach your arm overhead, don't let the hips move, that's the challenge. So even opening the knees a little wider might help here, a little further apart. So belly in, scoop the tailbone, we're gonna reach the right arm overhead, nothing has moved in the knees, and then plant it down. Then I'm gonna reach the left arm overhead, and then plant it down. And I'm doing my best not to sit my hips back. That's gonna release the core. But of course, if you need to take a break, like I said, this is super, super challenging. It's a lot on the wrists, the shoulders, and the abs. So you can always piecemeal it. If you need a pause and do a child's pose, that's a good counter pose for this class. Good, when I reach my arm overhead, palm is in. I'm using my lat to pull the shoulder down. And I'm bracing deeply into my abs like there's a belt around my waist and I'm tightening it. Good work, guys. So strong through those abs. Okay, another thing I wanna to touch on is make sure you're not popping your elbow. So soft bend in the elbow to help stabilize. Last one right here. Okay, we're gonna go out to a T raise. So side raise, you're gonna reach your right arm out to the right, place the right hand down. Left arm out to the left. So you're essentially in a three-limbed plank, right, instead of a four. Now, whatever hand lifts, that's the knee that needs to push harder, the shin that needs to kick harder into the wall. So we minimize any shifting right here in the pelvis. Make sure this low back hasn't started to dip towards the floor. Fill it up with your core. You guys are doing awesome. Good, I want you to just breathe through it. Good, let's go for one more right here. Last one. Okay, we're gonna take it into push-ups now. So we're gonna start wide. Fingers are spread apart. Palms are planted. I like to turn my fingers out a little bit, it feels best on my chest. Scoop the tailbone in one line from the knees to the top of the head. You're gonna bend your elbows and then press yourself back up. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. Now if you're advanced, you're gonna try to get that chest almost to the floor, if not to the floor. I'm gonna stay an inch up so I don't slam the mic into the ground and make all this noise. Uh, but if you can give me a chest tap, I'd love to see it. <laughs> Good, now notice when I'm lifting back up, my hips come with me. This is what I don't want. Hips resting down, chest lifting, and then butt. That's not good for the low back. So everything needs to lift and lower in one piece. We're doing awesome, guys. Breathe in and breathe out. This is an endurance workout. So if it's hard, that's a good thing. Last one, bring it in. We've got some tricep push-ups. So my hands are gonna be like we were to start. The elbows, they have to rotate towards me so that when you bend your elbows, they come by your sides and then you press back up. You can always adjust how close those hands are. So I'm gonna pull my shoulders down, bend my elbows by my ribs. Exhale, press up. Maybe it's smaller, maybe you're right here. And you press up. Form over going super deep, always, always, always. Breathe in, breathe out. You got it. Breathe in, breathe out. So strong, give me one more. Breathe in. Breathe out, okay. We're gonna make a diamond with our fingers. So you're gonna have your pointer finger and your thumb touching. 
Let's check on that tailbone. Tuck it in. So this is our last set of push-ups. The elbows are gonna go out to the back corners, right? So they're not super wide or not super narrow. They're right in between. Bend the elbows, press up. This is again triceps and chest for sure. I want you to think of squeezing the center of your chest together as you press up. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's fire it up guys, you got this. Brace those low abs, protect the low back. Maintain good form. If you can't maintain good form, take a reset. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, give me one more push up. Push up, press up. Okay, I'm gonna give you a tiny break. Walk your hands in, tuck your hips. Think of that angry cat shape. Go ahead, really flush out that low back for a moment. Okay, walk it back out. Let's find just good form. Got just a couple more things. We're almost there. We are gonna take a twist. This is gonna get those obliques. So scoop the navel in. Right hand's gonna lift. Twist to the right. Don't let your right hip open up. Push your knee down and your shin into the wall. Then come through center. We're gonna twist left. Push your left knee down and center. These, way harder to do slower. Hold the twist. Work the form. Yeah, stay in it, feel it. I want you to take a big inhale as you twist. Big exhale as you return. So we're twisting on the thoracic spine. So the pelvis faces down. The chest and the ribs, we're twisting. Yeah, we're rotating along the rib cage. Nice job, one more each way. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, feel that pressure in the feet. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, left hand underneath the shoulder, right fingertips to the ears. You're gonna bring your right elbow to twist to the left and tap the left arm, and then open up into your rotation to the right. You're gonna give me six. Twist left, tap the left arm, Rotate right. So this is gonna really focus on that right hip, not turning out to the right. Breathe in, breathe out. Good work guys, let's go two more. Pull that right shoulder down, so when you twist, it's not up on your neck. Last one, rotate through center, plant the right hand down. Okay, left fingertips to the ears. Bring your left elbow, to tap the right arm, then twist open to the left. Good, breathe in and out. Maintain a soft bend through that right arm. Good, when you rotate, dig your left knee into the floor. You are so strong, guys. You have three, and two. Last one, and one. Find your plank, final move, ab tucks. Shoulders down, elbows spin to the knees, you're gonna tuck your tailbone, release. Scoop the navel in, release. Give me an exhale, give me an inhale. As you tuck the tailbone, you're thinking of lifting your belly into your body. So the, the movement is like your hips scooping forward and back, right? But then you also, Need to isometrically lift your abs. So suck your stomach in. Good, every scoop is an exhale and a tuck. Good, that's it. Stay strong. Shins press into the wall as you scoop your pelvis forward. So that's the opposition. That's helping you keep momentum out of this movement. And let me tell you, tomorrow when you wake up, those low abs, are gonna know you did this workout. Okay, we've got a couple more right here, slow. Good, I'm taking my time with it. And we're gonna burn it out in 15 seconds. We're gonna make it smaller and quicker. Okay, I want you to sharply exhale. We're headed there in five, four. You're gonna hold the tuck and make it really little right here. Tuck it in and in, breathe out. 
like you're fogging a mirror. Shins kick back. Yes, let's find that quiver. <sighs> Reverse curls in the abdomen. Why we hold a plank? You got it. We're gonna go for as long as we can to burn it out. <sighs> Reach your heart forward. You got 35 seconds to the finish line. Keep it small and quick. Little tiny reverse crunches. Good, think about your belly. Draw it deep into the body. Let's breathe together, last 20. Close your eyes, let's take it home. Think about those abs tightening more and more. Exhale, counting down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, walk it in, come off your hands. Shake them out. How do you feel? Woo, shoulders too, right? Quick, intense arms and abs. Let's take a little counter stretch for the arms. Or I suppose I should say the wrists. So it's gonna be the top of the wrists down. Fingers point to you. The closer the fingers and the knees are together, the less weight will be in the wrist, so it'll be more comfortable. Okay, you're just gonna press all of your nails down. Lengthen through the elbow. We're gonna stretch through the wrist. So we're getting this kind of stretch right here. I want you to rotate your elbows in and out. Good, and then just come up to a seat or kneeling. We're gonna do a finger stretch. So let's go right palm out, fingers down. You're gonna pull one finger to you at a time with the left hand. Shocking how tight that gets, right? Don't forget your thumb. Okay, left palm out, pull the fingers in, one finger at a time. Good, and let's get the thumb as well. And then let's hit that shoulder stretch. So left arm straight across the body, hook it in with the right arm and try to relax that shoulder down. And let's just rock the head right and left. Okay, release. Take that right arm across the body. Now let's take the head right and left. Good, and then just release it. Give me some shoulder circles. You guys just crush a quick, intense core, endurance workout, major on the arms, major on the, I just pointed here, major on the arms, major on the abs. This is Pilates On Demand. I hope you had a fun workout. Hope you did something new today with your body and enjoyed yourself. Please subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. It is just gonna help me get more viewers, likes, and uh, all you'll get is uh, a little more info about what new videos I have coming out. So hit that subscribe button below. My name's Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand, and I'll see you on the next workout. Bye, guys.